Hey guys, this is Gavin Ackhart, and welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be continuing the PGR series on Forza 7. I'm, now, I'm actually recording this right after the Homestead race. I just, I can't get enough of this series. I really can't. Um, and actually, I, um, after leveling, um, after that last race, um, I leveled up and got a free, I was able to get a free car. Um, at a 100% discount, and it was a V8 supercar. And that reminded me, yeah, that's gonna be our next series. So, um, if y'all, if you guys, um, have any suggestions for our next series on Forza 7, what division you want me to do, let me know. Um, and if y'all don't have any ideas, um, and y'all want me to run V8 supercars, because that's what I say we do, but if y'all want something else, let me know. Um, but if y'all don't tell me anything or say that V8 supercars are good, then we'll run V8 supercars. And according to this game, and on this game, um, if we go to V8 supercars, go to supercar championship. Go to V8 supercar championship. Um, I currently, I actually, I own every... Actually, I do. Yeah, I own every V8 supercar on the game. So, the V8 supercars, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 V8 supercars on this on this game. So, if we do do V8 supercars, we will be able to add two more drivers. I do want to keep the 10 drivers we have now. I think the 10 drivers we have now are most likely going to be in the series from now on. But if we do v do V8 Supercars, tell me which two drivers you'd like to come back. Or maybe you have two new drivers that you'd like to see in the series. I'd, try to I'd like to not have real drivers, but if y'all do really want a real driver, tell me. And tell me who. Like, maybe y'all want Kyle Bush to drive a V8 Supercar. Cool. I guess I'm down. But, anyways, into the video. Into the race. So, coming into this race, um... Um... Actually, I should probably announce the race first. So today, we're gonna be at Road Atlanta for the Road Atlanta 17. This is a 10-lap race, and we will be running the club circuit during the day. So, coming into this race, your points are your points leader, um, with 32 points is Chris Asoto. Two drivers tied with 23 points in second are Angus Morris and me. The th three drivers tied for fourth with 19 points are Langdon Pagani, Lexa Patterson, and Terrell Saunders. I'm actually starting to learn the drivers and numbers. Um, I'm starting to learn everyone now. Like, I can look at the 95 and know that's Lexa automatically now. Driving the number 27 in points with, no, with 15 points is Kurt Elliott. In 8th with 12 points is Barrett Sims. In ninth with 10 points is Oswald Snelling. And in 10th with 5 points is Daria Snelling. So coming in this race, um, my race analysis, um, I don't expect this to be like Homestead at all. I don't expect this race to be a, one of those races where... Um, some, where a driver like Oswald Snelling or, um, Darius Snelling, I don't, don't, don't see this being a race where a driver like them could, um, have a, could, um, make a massive upset and gain a lot of points. I mean, it's possible, but I don't see that being a race where it's likely to happen. I most likely see this being a race where, um, where this is going to be one of the more normal races, where the drivers that usually run up front, this is going to be their, their this is, they're going to be running up front. Um, that being said, um, this is most likely going to be your starting lineup, because it seemed like the last race, the starting grid was accurate. So, on the pole for this race is Oswald Snelling, very fast in practice apparently, and very fast in qualifying, or maybe not fast in practice, but very fast in qualifying apparently, as he will sit on the pole. And starting second is Angus Morris. Starting third, Barrett Sims. Starting 
Fourth is Daria Snelling. Both Snelling's, both Snelling siblings are in the top four today. Starting fifth is Langdon Ghani. Starting sixth is Lexa Patterson. Starting seventh is Carissa Nasoto, our points leader. Starting eighth is Kurt Elliott. Starting ninth is me. And Ryan Outfield in tenth will be Terrell Saunders. So yeah, um, actually looking at the starting lineup, I see this could be a really good point today for Daria and Oswald if they play their cards right. So with that being said, um, coming in this race, I've run a couple practice laps, and I'm gonna say this now: of all the tracks on this game, this is the track I know the best. I've raced at this track in a lot of different cars, but I haven't raced in these cars, and I've gotten a pretty good handle of them. So I think. If there's anything I can say going into this race is I am expecting a top three. Um, I know that may sound like oh my god, but um, I think I've raced at this track enough to know this track like the back of my hand. So, yeah, that being said, let's get into the race. Ten laps. Let's go. Oh, it looks like the starting lineup was not correct, because Oswald will be starting here with me. And there's one thing I've learned from this track, is that there's going to be a big pile up here, so we're going to need to slow down a lot, as my teammate Barrett Sims checks up a big time. It seems that not a big pile up there. Seems we're gonna it seems we're gonna be able to get going scot free as Carissa and Soto and me make contact and she will get in to Barrett Sims, slowing him down as it seems like I I will be able to slot into ninth, moving Barrett all the way to last. Alright, so move as we go forward here, Oswald Snelling currently in eighth. I've thought, so I guess starting lineup wasn't accurate at all because he's not starting on the pole. Actually, he started like he started in like eighth, right beside me. So it does not look like this is going to be a very good point today for Oswald, as it seems everyone has spread out here. Caution ahead as Angus Morris in the wall. That is. Most likely that car has damage as simulation damage is on. So most more than likely that is gonna be it for Oswald for Angus Morris as his day is more than likely over as he will pretty much be running 10th for the rest of the race. Unless that car did not get a lot of damage. If that car did not get damage other than just cosmetics, that car could still theoretically maybe come up and challenge for top five here today. But here, right now, on lap two, I am following Carissa Nasoto as we're coming down into the final two, into one of the final two turns down the hill. But Carissa may she's looking for third here, or not third, fifth. As I'm gonna go by Langdon Bagani. And one driver I've not seen yet today is is Daria Snelling. I think Daria might actually be up there. Daria is currently sitting in second behind our leader, Kurt Elliott. This could, if things go right, this could be a huge point stake for Daria and easily move her up at, at least three spots and points if things go right for her. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna send it, make a little contact there, but get by Carissa and Soto. And unlike last race, we're gonna be using fifth gear here today, but only when we're going downhill here. Now we are behind, we are behind the number 21 of Terrell Saunders. Got big run off that final turn. I was looking to complete the pass. Looks like Terrell was gonna stick with me there, but I get the run on the inside. 
I'm going to be able to clear him as I now start chasing Lexa Patterson in the number 95. This makes two races in a row that Lexa has has been in, has done well. With the last race, she finished second. Now, here today, she's currently sitting in third here at Road Atlanta. downhill here into this into this fat, very fast turn I'm gonna get a big run and easily not actually not easily as Lexa will get the run I'm gonna send it into turn one and get by Lexa Patterson as now we are currently sitting in third Looks like we've got a race winning car here. As now we are caught up to Daria Snelling, currently sitting in second. This would be her best finish so far this season, as she has a ninth place finish and a ninth place. She has two ninth place finishes. If Daria could get a good, if Daria could finish in the second here, or maybe even in third, if I managed to pass her. This would be a huge day for Daria. Possibly one of the biggest um, points gained. Probably one of the biggest um, days points wise for any driver. As I will easily get by Daria Snelling and move into second. And now we're gonna be trying to go track down the leader as we are currently on lap six. This is definitely one of the shorter races here. But I honestly didn't know how to how long to make this race. Didn't want it to be too long and make it like 20 laps, 15, like 15 to 20 laps. I didn't want to make it too short, like eight laps. Probably could have gone with like 12, but I don't like doing numbers like that. If I want to, do, if I'm going to do a race, if I want to do a number of laps i want it to be like a multiple of five there are a couple tracks that i weren't able to do that with i wanted to have try to have all the races under um 30 30 miles here but currently it seems we are we are starting we are catching the leader as we have been all race long seems we are closing in and possibly Maybe um going downhill we could be an op we could have an opportunity to make the pass for the lead as we are currently right there on the bumper of the leader Kurt Elliott. He slows up there a little bit, trying to avoid maybe getting in the grass there, maybe going a little too fast. As now we're gonna send it downhill. Go all the way down to second gear. Bump pump the throttle there. We go uphill and now go into this fa very fast turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna run that turn as fast as I can, so I don't want to just go past him and just run away with it. I want to try to have an interesting finish here. So currently, or on lap eight of ten, we got three laps to go here. As I can see back there, Daria Snelling is still in second, or still in third, with about a three second cushion between her and fourth place. So it looks like unless Daria has mistakes, she will easily come away with a third place here at Road Atlanta. If I, if Kurt Elliott can hold me off, this would be his first win of the season, meaning all four races, means the first four races would all have different leaders have different winners but if I can get by him here I'd be the first repeat winner as we come down the straight or the front stretch to take two laps to go Kurt Elliott's number 23 Porsche is fast 
but it seems like my number 47 Ferrari might be a little faster. God, I keep forgetting I drive a Ferrari. Oh, that's interesting. Here we go, trying to close in on the leader here. We gotta run and try to draft on him. Now slow down here. Not gonna be able to make the pass just yet. Maybe we can get to the inside here. Now slow down here, don't wanna risk it. And he also blocks me there. Let him get, let him get run here. Looks like he's just a little faster than me as we take the white flag here at Road Atlanta. It's definitely one of the shorter races here, only 17 miles. Looks like Kurt Elliott is trying to hold on. Looks like he's doing very well because I just cannot find somewhere to pass the leader right on the bumper of Kurt Elliott here. Looked like I had the speed and he sl and he slows down tremendously making him making me get into the back of him. Looks like I might have one last attempt here at the win. If I can maybe get to the inside here, maybe get a big run. Kurt Elliott blocks me, and Kurt Elliott will win here at Road Atlanta. As I will round out the top two in the second. That was a good finish. I knew I could catch him and easily pass him, but I didn't want to go. I didn't want to just go as fast as I could in that one turn. So if I, because you saw with. What was it? Three drop. There was maybe three drivers where I um, pushed it on that one turn, went as fast as possible, and just cleared them easily. I didn't want to do that because I wanted it to have an a interesting finish, and we did. As again, brake checked me there, going uphill. Um, overall, that was a fun race. Of the three races, um, I'd say that's definitely the, probably my second favorite so far. First is easily Homestead, and it's probably going to be like that for the rest of the season. Anyways, um, so I'm going to write down points and start finishing positions, and I will get back to you when I am done. Alright, so I have written down everyone's finishing position and the points, plus their previous total coming into this race. So... Your finishing results for this race, getting the win in this first one of the season, becoming the fourth different driver to win so far is Kurt Elliott. Finishing second is me, getting my um, first, second place finish of the season so far. Finishing third and her best finish so far is Daria Snelling in the number 10. Finishing fourth is Alexa Patterson in the number 95. Finishing fifth is Carissa Nasato, our points leader, on the number two. In sixth um, is Terrell Saunders in the number 21. In seventh is Barrett Sims in the number 24. I'm pretty sure he's finished seventh every, he's finished seventh every race so far. I guess that's just a seventh place team. I don't know. Seventh is Barrett Sims in 24. Yeah. Eighth with eight is Oswald Snelling, number six. Bad race for him. I was expecting it was going to be a new leaf for that team. They managed to turn it around, but not today. It seems that that was, may have just been a fluke. And this, this bad finish will definitely hurt him, and you will see how. Um, ninth is Angus Morris, hit, so his worst finish of the season so far, as he has a fourth, a third, and a third, and now a ninth. Bad race for that number 66 team, as I'm pretty sure they made contact with the wall there, which, um, which definitely did not help them and pretty much ruined their day. But he didn't finish last. Finishing last again for the... Second race in a row 
Chip Langdon Pagani. That team for the first two races was on top of the points as the points leader, but now they've just fallen off. And it's a it's a astonishing how far he is down in points now. So that being said, um I will now um say everyone's points. If you can just give me a second here. Alright. Alright, so last in points with 13 points is Oswald Snelling. He is last in points now. Coming into this race, he was ninth in points, but he had a great points day. Finish, finishing sixth after a ninth and an eighth place finish. But look, but it looks like today wasn't his day. He, after finishing ninth, that confirmed him down to the last and points with only 13 points. Ninth in points with 16 points is the number 24 of Barrett Sims, my teammate. Definitely seems I'm getting the better equipment here at Ferrari. But, um, yeah. Tough break for, for Barrett. He's just finished seventh all season long so far. And sure, that's consistency, but that ain't good consistency. Because so far, because consistently, he's just falling and he's just faltered in points. Went from being 7th in points to 8th in points. So 8th in points again, and now 9th in points. They keep that up, they're not going to be in, they're going to be last in points in a couple races if they don't improve their stuff. 7th in points with 20 points is Langdon Pagani. Our initial points leader for the first two races is now 7th in points with only 20 points. As those two last place finishes will really take a toll. While well, everyone behind you is earning like 7, like seven to like five, po 5 to 7 points, you're only earning 1 point. I mean, that will kill your chances there, man. Um, yeah, Langdon Pagani, 7 of points. Moving up to 6 end points, um, did I say Daria? Well, Daria is 8 in points, with 18 points, and after the, after, um, today, she climbed a lot. I mean, she may have only been 2, um, um, positions and points, but I can make a big difference, but... It has put her within two points of seven. And six points within six within six in points. So this has set her this third place finish has set her up. If she can get back if she can get better and capitalize on it, she can easily um crack the top five in points sometime soon. But yeah, Daria, she's eighth in points and like doing seventh. Sixth in points with 24 points is the number 21 of Terrell Saunders. Um, his season hasn't been the best. Um, for, it's been pretty mediocre, if I'll say, if I, if I will say so myself. A fifth place at Sebring, a fourth place at Bernie's Alps, fifth place at Homestead, and a sixth place today. Teams kind of just average. Um, and that's why they sit where they are today. Fifth and points with 25 points is Ang Angus Morris. Coming into this race, he was tied with me for second and points. But that contact that he, but when he hit the wall, that pretty much confirmed him losing a lot of points. Because last race, he gained eight points. This race, he only, made, he only gained two so that's why he is currently sitting fifth in points rather than second or even third. Moving on to fourth in points is Lexa Patterson, and it seems that in these last two races, a switch has been flipped in that 95 team. As coming into Homestead, that team was 95th, they were seventh in points. 
leaving Homestead, they were four, they were tied for fourth in points. And now, after Road Atlanta, they are the only, they are fourth in points with no ties. I should, um, there are no ties in the points standing right now. So she is the sole fourth place runner. Which is really good for that team. I think, I think, they could just set it up a little. They could easily be a top three threat when it comes down to it at the, at Coda. So now we get in top three. Third in points with 30 points is your winner today, Kurt Elliott. He's coming into this race, he was 7th in points with 15. So he wins the race, gets 15 points, doubles his points. So now, instead of being 7th in points with 15, he's now 3rd in points with 30. Good points today for those guys. A win is what they needed to say, hey, we can contend for this championship. And that win easily put them in 3rd. Putting them in the mix, only eight points behind our points leader. Second in points for 32 points is me. Um, so far, I've had a good season. Other than the 10th place at Sebring, I've had a win, a fourth place at Homestead, and a second place here at Route Atlanta. So other than Sebring, I've had a really good season. So um, no surprise that with us running as good as we have, that we are still second points. Only six points behind points leader, Carissa Nasata. So, and your points leader, obviously, with 38 points, only gaining six points in this race as she finished fifth, um, is Carissa Nasato. Now, going into this race, she had a third place finish, a second place finish, and a win. Today, it looks like she just didn't have that speed, had, didn't have that race winning speed that that team has had so far this season. But they were met, and they did manage to round up a top five finish, which is not bad in any means necessary. But when you're fighting for the, well, but when you're the points leader and you've got drivers like me, and Oswald, or not Oswald, um, Angus, who run really good consistently. You can't be, um, you gotta, can't be, you can't afford these average finishes. You gotta constantly be a threat to, for top threes. But she's lucky that Oswald, that Angus had a bad finish here and wasn't able to close in on her like I was. Because if me and, if, let's say, if, um, if Angus finished third, um, that would be us, that would be us right on her tail. Me being six points behind and him being five points behind. But she just got lucky that he didn't have a good race. But, um, if, um, Carissa Elliott, if Carissa wants to, um, keep this points lead, she's going to have to do a little better than fifth um, every week. So she's got to step back up to that speed that that team has had so far. Um, other than that being said, she's still the points leader while I am only six points behind. So if I have a good finish, if I have another good finish and she finishes fifth again, I, I will easily um, be only three points behind her. Where I get a win, I'm easily first in points. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this race. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I guess um, big takeaway here is for Daria Snelling. Um, she's been last in points all season long, but today she was able to get the third place finish and capitalize on that speed that that team had today, get a third and move on to positions. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of this series, let me know. And if you have an idea for what division we race in the next series, let me know. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.